The Santa Barbara Channel is full of life. It's one of the most biodiverse areas on the west coast of the United States. From humpback whales to gray whales and great white sharks, it's a place in the backyard of one of the most populous areas on the planet. Whales like this humpback cruising all alone through the channel are extremely common in this area. So majestic, so beautiful, they give as much to the ecosystem as they take. But just like other species, sometimes they too can fall victim to sickness or accidents. The following shows a scene I've never filmed before. It's a hard sight for lovers of this magnificent creature, but it is nature. Just above the high tide line on the beach, I found a dead humpback whale washed up on the shore. It's hard to see such a majestic animal in this way, but even in death, this whale continues the natural process of giving. I searched the area knowing it was only a matter of time before the scent of this dead whale attracted a great white shark. Within minutes, I found this white shark, one of the largest I've ever seen and certainly the largest shark I've documented this close to the California coast. Even with its size, it's an easy sight to miss just a few hundred yards away from a busy highway. I've filmed many sharks in the past, and I've developed a system using the drone's camera reticle to measure the shark's size. I estimate this shark to be between 16 and 18 feet long, easily the largest shark I've seen this close to shore in California. It's obvious this is not the juvenile sharks I've been so accustomed to filming. I was elated to witness such a shark, but this find only lasted a few minutes before it dipped into the darkness below and disappeared. It's highly likely the shark stayed around, but I never saw this shark again. However, this was not the only shark I would see. I returned the next day. This time, the runoff of the whale's carcass was even more visible from above. It was quickly apparent that other birds and animals may be attracted to the area. Among them, I spotted dolphins. I don't know if the carcass attracted them, but I did know a large number of them in the immediate area. The day prior, I did not see any dolphins, but on this day, they glided effortlessly through the kelp beds near the carcass. This made me wonder if sharks would even be nearby. Not surprisingly, I found a couple surfers no more than a hundred yards away from the whale carcass. As evident the day before, a whale carcass on the beach can attract very large sharks to an area. So surfing near this scene is highly inadvisable. Regardless, I filmed these surfers without incident. I did speak to one surfer who told me he was aware of the likelihood of sharks, but he felt safer because the dolphins were nearby. But I must make this point. In my observations, it is a common misconception I hear often from surfers. The presence of dolphins does not mean a shark is not nearby. I say this because I've observed the opposite on many occasions, and this occasion was yet another example. This is a large shark I filmed gliding through the very same kelp bed that the dolphins were in just minutes earlier. The white sharks are very well masked in the kelp beds, but when they would surface, it was easy to make out the outline of a great white shark. This shark, which I estimated at 12 to 14 feet, stayed nearby patrolling the area, perhaps waiting for a piece of the whale carcass. Further down the beach, I spotted yet another white shark. This shark, like all in the area, was making oscillatory dives up and down the water column along the shore. This made tracking it quite difficult. Again, this shark was much larger than what I normally film. Witnessing sharks this big, so close to a populated beach was somewhat surprising. Following this documentation, I was able to file an official report with the California State Parks 
who then posted shark warning signs along the beach due to this shark's size and proximity to shore. These large great white sharks typically leave California waters for deeper Pacific waters during this time of year. It was evident, however, a dead whale is enough for a handful of large sharks to stay behind for just a few more days. But winter in California means another type of shark is plentiful, leopard sharks. Known for their distinctive dark spots and saddle type markings, the leopard shark is known to live up to 30 years, taking more than a decade to reach maturity. They love sand flats, mud flats, and rocky bottom areas near reef sites and kelp beds. That is exactly where I found this large gathering. Filming them from above in numbers like this was incredible to witness. Leopard sharks are among the many species that call the coast of California home. I plan to keep searching for these types of sharks to learn more about them and their importance to the local ecosystem. While great white sharks tend to garner the most attention among sharks in California, it can be said that it's the leopard sharks that are indeed the most photogenic.